this morning to work on my uh, Kawasaki mule and finish it up. It uh, needs mirror and uh, work lights. So we're going to check this thing out. Alrighty. I've done a lot of work to it already. As you can see, it has a snow plow on it. Um, got it wrapped up, so uh, we're having our first snow today. So I'm going to finish it up so I can use it later. So as you can see, we have a plow. The winch I mounted. And when I get it inside, I'll describe more of it. All right, looks like we can get a better look at everything I've done to this. Of course, I mounted a windshield. I've got my shower curtain door pulled back right now because I'm mounting these lights because I want to put these lights right up here. But anyhow... You can see I also now I put a, my own hand belt, home belt <laughs> heater in here with a fan, tied it into the radiator system, the cooling system for this Kawasaki twin. And uh, also mounted a rear window and then I sealed everything up here. Uh, I do have some very, very aggressive tires on here, hoping that, uh, I don't need chains. It has a differential lock, so it's going to be two-wheel drive, but differential is going to be locked. And, uh, as you can see, here's my other shower curtain door with Velcro. The Velcro I bought at Walmart, it's like $20 for the two inch and then I took scissors and cut it in half so I ended up with 40 feet so instead of 20 so I had plenty. And again as you can see the, uh, the plow I mounted and I had a uh, bed liner, so I made my own uh, rubber flap for the uh, the plow, and uh, got some metal from the uh, local machine shop to make my top part. I fabricated my winch on here, as you can maybe see. I put a bracket on on the old bumper I pulled it off and then as maybe you can see I had to put washers and stuff and on that tube steel and then that's my mount uh, I mounted my uh, control. I uh, can't really see it here. Let me uh, let me walk around here. I put my control on my steering wheel right here that came with the winch. It's a two button, and uh, clamped it right to it. And then, if you can, uh, you see, I just. I've got a marine battery for the plow. I've got two of them, so I'm just going to keep them charged rather than run them off the uh, the mule's charging system. Because with the lights and all that, I think it'd probably be best. Uh, I also took put stepping stones in here, as you can see, 
to give me some weight for traction. Uh, again, I said I put the uh, differential. It's in a lock position. I'm just going to leave it that way all winter. Uh, I had trouble with the cable. I had to replace the cable. It wouldn't go into lock, but I got it fixed up and uh, it should be uh, good. We got a pretty level driveway, so we're not going up a hill or anything. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get these uh, lights mounted. Um, I got these off eBay. They're five inch. They're supposed to be uh, 540 uh, Luma. We'll see. I'm sure anything we add. The the reason why I need these work lights is you can see the uh, the other lights when the plow lifts up blocks the light in front of you. So I need to be able to see. Alrighty, let me get busy here. I'm going to go ahead and mount these lights. Well, I'm pretty much blinded from working on it, but I do have the work lights on it now. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to see over the plow now. This is my new plow machine. And the cab gets so warm, I don't even need a hat or gloves. Uh, no more wearing card heart overalls and, and all that. My Kawasaki Mule does the trick. Yes. Well, I did not get a video of it running. As you can see, I was able to do this whole driveway plus this part of the driveway and all the way back and all the way back here. As you can see, so my mule two wheel drive does a great job. So, my advice to someone is yes, it will do the trick. Uh, probably even heavier snow than this we got about six inches here wet and as you see it did the trick my velcro shower curtain works great all right so time to cover it up wait for the next snow